Hello, and welcome to Madam Lauren's poem reading. I am Madam Lauren, and I am going to be personally performing your poem reading today. It's wonderful to meet you as well. Great, great. Uh, now, before we begin, I did just want to remind you this is a poem reading. This typically does tell me a lot more about you as a person and your particular uh, characteristics and qualities. It is not as uh, predictive as fortune telling, so it doesn't tell me a whole lot about your future. I'll probably get a little bit, um, but typically it tells me mostly about the kind of person you are. Okay, wonderful. wonderful. All right, so what I'm going to have you do is just have a seat and just lay your hands out on the table here. Palm up and just like this for me. Very good. And if it's all right with you, I am just going to gently stroke your hands to help them to relax. Good. Good. Relax. Now, just upon inspection of your hands, it appears as though you are left-handed, is that correct? Yes, I thought so. So, you're female, and your right hand is uh, indicative, therefore, of what you are born with, so your qualities, your characteristics, so I'll be looking very much at your right hand. Your left hand is typically telling me a little bit about what you have, or are likely to accumulate in your life. So I will be inspecting both of your hands for those two uh, different areas. And at the end, I am actually going to be using your non-dominant hand, which is your right hand, uh, for further inspection as well. So I'm going to start by keeping both of your hands out, and I am just going to look at your right hand first. Very interesting. So everyone has three lines on their palms. They have the heart line, the head line, and the light line. And a couple of people occasionally will have what is called a fate line. And you are one of those unique individuals who does have a fate line, but you only have it on your right hand. It's not present on your left hand. It's very interesting. So this is a fate that I guess you could say you were predestined for because it's on the hand that shows what you are born with. One of your characteristics is part of your fate. Very interesting. So looking at your heart line here. Looks like it starts at your middle finger and extends all the way over your hand. That actually shows that you are a little bit on the selfish side when it comes to love. So you're the one who probably dominates your relationships and things are centered a little bit more around what it is that you're wanting in your life and in your relationship as well. Sounds about accurate. <laughs> and then looking just below your heart line, you see this one right here? That one is your headline. Mm -hmm. Very good. It goes all the way across your palm here. It's actually joined at the very beginning with your lifeline, which is just below it. And it's curved all the way down, sloping. That shows that you have a lot of creativity. Is your person a very creative person? Oh, you're an artist. The lines don't lie. Very good. Very good. Now, it's also interesting that it starts right with your lifeline. They are not separate. They're actually joined initially. 
and your lifeline is curvy. It's long and deep, actually. And it kind of circles back. Do you see that right there? Circles backwards. So that actually shows that you have a lot of energy, which I can already tell. A lot of vitality and life to you. And that you're strong. A lot of strength in your character. Excellent, excellent. Learning a lot about you from this hand here. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant hand, okay? So, it's a relax. Now, looking at your hotline here, it actually starts in roughly the same position as on your right hand. And being as it follows typically the same pattern as on your right hand, uh, it's actually indicative that what you will accumulate in your life in love will be some emotional trauma. Uh, that can be from anyone that you love. Uh, it can be in uh, romantic relationships, it can be in other personal family types of relationships. But it does show that you will be uh, in some traumatic emotional uh, turmoil at some point in your life. Okay. Now moving down, we're looking at your headline on your left. Noticing on this hand, there are actually little teeny tiny lines that kind of swish in and out of your headline. Do you see that? Yeah, they kind of intersect it and swish through the main line a little bit. Yes, it looks like two main time frames one about halfway through your headline and one just a little bit later. And these actually will indicate momentous, momentous uh, decisions that you'll be having to make at those times. So, uh, call it possibly a midlife crisis, who knows what's going to happen, but it looks like you're going to have a big, big life-changing decision happening right around um, the midpoint of your life, followed by uh, another momentous uh, decision that you'll have to make that's a little bit smaller of a decision um, that will closely follow that big life-changing one. So, uh, you want that to look forward to a little bit later in life, I guess. Right. Now, I can't tell you what the decision is. I can only tell you that's going to occur. That's likely to occur. <laughs> and lastly, I am looking now at your left-hand lifeline. Again, this one is just like on the right side, very long. It actually curves back too. It's a very deep circular line. And it does, on this hand, very similar to your headline, have uh, some kind of swishes along it. And actually right here, if you can see, there's a bit of a break in the line. Right. Then it starts back up just below down here. And that's right about halfway down. That indicates a sudden change in lifestyle, actually which is very interesting because that goes hand in hand with you having to make such a momentous decision at about that same time in your life as indicated by your headline. So you're going to have a very big decision to make. And it looks like you're going to have a sudden change in your lifestyle at that point in your life as well. Now, just looking at both of your hands, uh, it does look like the palm to finger length ratio is about equal. And your palms are actually a little bit on the wide side. And we do look at these measurements for certain indications as well. Uh, they do indicate that which element that you are. So there are the four elements. There's earth, fire, air, and water. And by these measurements, you are falling into the earth element. The earth elements typically uh, have very solid values, actually. They have a lot of energy and uh, that goes right in line with your lifeline, uh, telling me that you have a lot of vitality and strength to you. Uh, but with that strength also comes stubbornness, uh, which is very characteristic of an earth element. Uh, it also shows that you're practical, responsible, 
uh, but that you may have a little bit of materialistic indications as well. A little bit. <laughs> All right, wonderful. Now there's one other area I do really like to look at. It tells us a good amount about you. Uh, this is going to tell us mainly about your characteristics. It's not really as uh, predictive. Uh, but it's looking at the little mounts or the little pads along your hand here. And to look at this properly, typically we look at the non-dominant hand because the pads and mounts can actually get a little bit skewed by how much your dominant hand is worked. Um, and I'm very thankful that you actually are left hand dominant because the right hand is what you're born with and those are the qualities we look for in the mouth as well. So this is actually going to give us a lot of information. So for this I'm going to look only at your right hand. And I'm going to have you cup your hand kind of like that. So that then I can be the one looking at your mouth right here. Okay. Very good. Alright, so again what I'm looking at is your palm like this. So it's cupped a bit to show me these mounts. This one here under your thumb, this one here under your finger, and so on and so on. There are five total. And I'm looking at how pronounced uh, these mounts are and how large they are. So if you run through this one right here is your Venus mount. And then we move actually into Jupiter, Saturn, Sun, and Mercury. And looking at your hand here, your Venus one, which is the one that is under your thumb, uh, is actually not very pronounced, so I'm going to be moving forward from that one. And your Jupiter one is fairly pronounced. Jupiter shows dominance, confidence, uh, and self-centeredness. So uh, you might have a little bit of that selfish quality we had talked about in relationships, and this is ringing true in your mounts as well, a little bit of um, self-centered actions at times. And then moving forward, uh, you hardly have anything happening in your Saturn location, so moving on. Uh, your Sun one is extremely pronounced actually, it's very large. Uh, the Sun mount typically indicates being uh, quick-tempered, so a bit of a hot head at times. Uh, also extravagant, which goes hand in hand with the being materialistic actually. Uh, and being a little bit prideful. So you are very confident, as we discussed, um, and dominant, but that also goes hand in hand with having a bit of a pride and ego. And lastly, actually your Mercury is more pronounced than I'm used to seeing, uh, and that just shows that you are an outgoing personality, very bold type, uh, which actually rings true considering how you have a very dominant sun. Having a dominant sun and Mercury very often go hand in hand. <laughs> Pun not even intended there. Um, so that is going to conclude our hand and palm reading uh, for today. Hope you learned a little bit of something about yourself. Um, hope this gives you a better indication on how to work through some of your uh, difficulties, your challenges, your relationships, because you know yourself just a little bit better. You know your incredible and wonderful qualities, as well as possibly some of your shortcoming qualities, which we all also have, so that you can work on those uh, to better enhance your own personal relationships and outlook and you know a little bit about what's down the road I'm very curious uh, what this big decision is going to be that's going to be a large lifestyle change um, down the road for you so I hope that you enjoyed your session today and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day goodbye